Okay, so hi there everybody. We're now on our next video in the in simplifying radicals and in the last video I have um not answered or served this as your assignment to answer the exercise. This is actually number three from the previous video, so let's call this number three here. Um this is um two plus square root of three all over square root of two minus square root of three. So we're going to answer this with the concept of conjugates. So let's do this. Um let's multiply this first. Um this is uh um, a quadratic binomial third, so we're going to multiply it by its conjugate. Um, that is square root of five plus square root of three. So we copy that in the numerator. Um, hence what we have just normal um, foil method. So we have um, two times square root of five is two square root of five. Um, outer O two times square root of 3 is plus 2 square root of 3 i inner square root of 3 times square root of 5 since they're both square roots so we can multiply the radicands that's going to give us square root of 15 and for the last square root of 3 times square root of 3 is going to give us square root of 9 which is actually just 3 but let's just write square root of 9 here Okay, um, for the denominator, square root of 5 times square root of 5 is going to give us square root of 25, which is actually 5. Um, O outer, square root of 5 times square root of 3, is going to give us positive uh, square root of 15. And we have for i, I inner, which is negative 3 times square root of 5, or rather, negative square root of 3 times square root of 5 is negative square root of 15. And we have for the for the last, negative 3 times positive square root of 3 is going to be, um, rather, negative square root of 3 times the positive square root of 3 is going to be negative square root of 9, which is just actually 3. So let's um, give some space here. Okay, let's proceed and continue. What we have in the next line is, uh, excuse me. So what we have here, let's simplify the numerator first. So we have two square root of five plus um, two square root of three. Um, we can't do anything with this. Uh, maybe we can just um, by common monomial factoring, just take the two from both of them. So what we have is square root of five plus uh, square root of three. Okay, so what we have here is um, 2 times the quantity of square root of 5 plus square root of 3. And then what we'll have is square root of 15 here. And then square root of 9 is just 3. So therefore, this gives us uh, 3 in here. Okay, that's our numerator. For the denominator, um, this becomes um, square root of 25 is 5. Positive 15 minus square root of 15 is going to become zero and then what we have is minus three so therefore um we'll just simplify or we'll just uh we'll just have this as five minus three which is two so five minus three is two therefore um what we can do here is just give us two times the quantity of well we cannot do anything with the with the numerator now so what we have is um square root of five plus square root of 3. So what we'll have here is copy the numerator plus uh, square root of 15 plus 3. So yeah, so far that's our answer um, for this for this item. Um, this is the simplified version. We cannot simplify this anymore. Okay, maybe you may think that we can cancel this up, but we cannot because this only exists in the first two terms. If you want to cancel that really, it may look like this. So that is, we're going to separate this this form here to the rest of the numerator. This may look like um, canceling this only in this part here. Okay, so what we'll have is square root of 5 plus uh, square root of 3. Okay, plus, this gives us a square root of 15 um, plus 3 
over 2. So if you want to look to make your answer look like this, so it's really okay to do it like this, but um, it's kind of messy to look at numbers with um, with 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 in which it has no denominators and numbers which have in which it looks awkward. Um, anyways, these two answers may be okay. Okay, it can be okay. So any of them may will do. Okay. So this that's it for this short video. Um, hopefully it answered or you got the correct answer also in by in your side. So thank you very much for watching.